Greetings and salutations viewers, I'm Star Princess A. Chelsea, and welcome back to Asagao Academy. We last left off, a lot happened? I'm not sure. It just seemed kind of more like, you know, we were hanging out with the Normal Boots Club, and Gerard was getting teased for liking the My Little Pony ripoff, and yeah, it was kind of weird. So... I guess we'll just see what happens next. Uh, she was also addicted to a little app game for a while, so let's see what happens. He said he had it under control, but I should probably make a backup plan just in case. Oh yeah, we were also talking about uh, Hana's uh, dad and how he gave her a knockoff, well, uh, this world's knockoff of a 3DS, but didn't have any games to go with it, so. It wasn't that I didn't trust him, it was just that, okay, I didn't trust him. Oh yeah, we were also talking about PBG being our partner for one of our projects, and he hasn't done jack deadly on it. <sighs> Sighing, I worked a uh, kink out of my shoulder. It looked like it would be a long night. Oop. Ugh. What was that noise? Stop it, please. <clears throat> uh, I'm coming. Who on earth would do this so early? So early in the morning, in fact, that it wasn't even light out. I quietly padded over to the door. My shifted in her bed. What? What? Whoa! It's about time. Joshua Lina? Who? Oh, honey. He... She? Pushed past me and swept into the room, flipping on the light switch. Paul and Nick followed after him. Uh... Hannah, I feel just terrible for ruining your uniform, sincerely. We owe you an apology and a clean uniform. I'm not so good at this kind of thing, so I brought a friend to help me. Josh pulled open my drawer and tossed out clothes left and right. <gasps> oh my god, stop! That's my underwear! What's wrong with you? I ran to him and grabbed his arm, trying to pull him away. These panties are so cute, they're perfect for you. Get away from there! What the hell? Where's your uniform? I ducked below Josh and pulled open a drawer, pulling out the sticky fabric. Mm. Here, take it. I threw it at Josh's face, but he caught it with ease. This is no problem. I promise I'll have this cleaned in no time. Girls? He snapped. That just that sounded more like a clap. Follow me. Paul, Nick, and Josh swept me from my room, but they didn't head towards the Hall X. Instead, they turned left, heading deeper into the dormitory. I didn't have a good feeling about this. I stepped into my slippers and ran into the hallway, just in time to see the door to the girls' bathroom close. <gasps> oh, no. Ah! What are you doing in here? I sprinted to the bathroom door, but before I could get there... Paul Nick slammed into the wall across from the door. Men like you are the worst. Whoa. Whoa. No, this was all misunderstanding, please. I'm sure it was. No, maybe it really was. Wait a second, where's the other, uh, person who was with them? She's doing something with a uniform in the sink. Mimi tossed her head with a sniff and headed back into the bathroom. She actually thinks Josh is a girl? <laughs> she wouldn't be the first. Josh himself believes he's a girl. That wig is magical. Uh -huh. Well, stay out of the girl's bathroom is not exactly going to help your platform if word gets around that you're a pervert. And a shadow fell over Paul's face. I sighed. Don't worry, I'll talk to Mimi. Go back to the boys' dorm. All right. Thank you so much, Hana. Mm. Hell yeah. I watched them scamper away, then headed into the bathroom. Sorry, how is just putting on a wig when you have a big bushy beard automatically make people think you're a girl? I'm not even getting into the transgender stuff. Hey, Joshua Lina. Hmm? You and I should probably get going. I ran the corner and I found him doing Mimi's hair. Uh, uh in a second, Hana. I've just gotta finish this. Hannah, have you met Joshua Lena? She's so good with hair, and look, she even got the stain out of this shirt. 
Joshua Lena. That the just the name itself is like really. Mimi held up my uniform. Really? Really? Thank goodness. Thank you so much. It's no problem, honey. I guess I'll let you finish. Mimi, you won't tell anyone about Paul and Nick coming into the bathroom, will you? Why wouldn't I? Well, as class representatives, they were just trying to help Josh Lena get her bearings, and they were showing her where the bathroom was. I should have been the one to show her, but I was asleep and they didn't want to wake me up. Oh, well, I guess it's fine then. Thank you. I stood staring at them, unsure of what to do next. And then the next day, it'll be like, Dude, the normal clues club are totally perverts. Do you mind? I need to concentrate to finish this. Oh. I'm sorry? I went back to my room. Life as Asuka never got easier, did it? Apparently not. I'm still wondering about the dude in the closet. Mai was still asleep when I got back. There was no way I was going back to bed. So I changed my into my uniform, grabbed my bag, and went to class early. Oh good, then you can chew out PBG for not doing his work. My plan was to get started on the project Miss Shizuka gave us. As sincere as PBG was, I wasn't quite sure he'd hold up his end of the bargain. I stepped in the classroom and went to my seat, throwing my bag against my desk. A small snap came from across the room. Shane was at his desk, giving me a look. Do you mind? I'm trying to work. Oh, I'm sorry. I looked to the door. It was too late to leave, but I didn't want to be stuck by myself with a guy who clearly hated me. I sat down at my desk and looked at my hands. This is the quietest place I can find in the mornings. Really? Really? Not the library? Shane shook his head. I see. I'll try not to bother you. He shook his head again. You're fine. Do whatever. Uh, ellipses. It'd be awkward if I just sat there like that. Um. So, what are you working on? Shane looked at me, and for a moment I thought he wasn't going to answer. Then he waved me over. I crossed the room to his desk and looked over his shoulder. Several sheets of paper with lightly sketched outlines lay in front of him. It looked like they were for... comics? You draw comics? Yeah. What about? He shrugged. Hmm. Whatever. He said it with a touch of finality, so I skipped to another topic. Do you mind if I ask where you're from? Shane gave a heavy sigh, all right. Could you not tell by my accent? Hmm. I'm from England. This is my second year. Oh. He continued to draw, etching in the lines of a British flag above what looked to be a government building. To be fair, you haven't talked to her much. So how could she tell about your accent if she hasn't talked to you much? Just saying. Do you miss it? He finished shading a line before responding. I guess. My whole family is there. You're by yourself? Why'd you come here? <sighs> Class will start soon. Don't you have something to work on? Ouch. He really doesn't like me. Taking the hand, I went back to my desk. Suddenly, the door slammed open. Hey. Hey, look. We got here early. Hey, John. Hey, Jacques. Wonderful. Oh, Hana! Shane! Looks like it's just the four of us. We should stir up some trouble. Trouble? He's gonna suggest we watch Food Fight, aren't we? <laughs> Let's plant an egg on Miss Shizuka's chair, eh? I bet she'd think it was hilarious. Nah, eh, not really. At least it's not watching Food Fight. No. Aw, <laughs> uh. oh, come on! I bet I could find an exploding bird or two to die bomb us during class. No. <laughs> Just no. I bet you could probably bake her a cake <laughs> filled with knives. Really? The heck is wrong with you? Shane was more than an ocean away from his family and friends. <laughs> I was only two hours away from my dad, yet I missed him so much. Was Shane homesick at all? Soon other students filled the room and Mai joined me at my desk asking why I abandoned her. I filled her in on the situation. She had a good laugh, but as the clock ticked closer to class time, I felt like something was missing. Eventually I realized what it was. PBG wasn't in class yet. Somebody's skipping out on his duties here. 
The bell rang. Miss Shizuka came in and class began, but still he was nowhere to be found. Where was he? Maybe he's at soccer practice? I don't know. The real problem that causes grinding to be necessary in RPGs, if you ask me, is that the whole system is flawed. Where the hell is this coming from in a classroom? Unless you're studying game development? What the hell? Miss Shizuka's on a tangent again. She must have gotten stood up. Uh, by a game dev? Class was nearly over and PBG she still hadn't shown. I was worried, but no one else seemed to care. <laughs> that kid always misses class. Still, what if he was sick? Why didn't anyone care? He might have been run over by a bird. At the sound of the bell, Miss Shizuka jumped. Oh, well, tune it, turn into a... It turn, turn in a... Uh, yeah. Sorry, getting stood up makes me all jittery. Turn in a two-page reflection on why the human species as a whole has the emotional range of a teaspoon. Do tomorrow. I'm fairly certain that ain't on the uh, the curriculum. <laughs> she definitely got stood up. Um, um, Miss Shizuka? I stood and dashed to her desk. Yes, Hana? PPG was in class today, and, uh... I could take his notes to him if you need. <laughs> oh, Hana, you're a godsend. Miss Shizuka's eyes watered. She leaned over her desk and pulled me into a hug. Wow. She really got stood up. <sighs> it's wonderful to see our youth have hope. Really got stood up. Hana. She pulled away and stared into my eyes. Don't give up on love. You're young. If PBG is the one you want, you have my blessing. Here, take these papers. Oh boy. Is she a crazy cat lady too? Oh dear. She shoved the handouts from today's class into my hands and gathered her things. Bless your heart. You know, usually when you say bless your heart, it's not always in the nicest lie. Like, oh, bless his heart, but he's a naughty boy. I've seen the magazines under his his bed. Bless his heart. <laughs> she left the room crying. Oh, dear. At least that didn't go on like Dear Red. Oh, God, that was torturous. <laughs> Poor thing, she must have really liked this one. Does this happen often? <laughs> often enough, so you're taking that to PBG? Yeah, but now that I think of it, I don't know his room number. 402. How? Uh, it's next to Jared's room, so of course I notice him leaving in the mornings. Ah. I've got tryouts, so I won't be able to go with you. Good luck, though. I'm sure he'll be, ha or he'll be happy to see you. I told you, I don't think he feels that way. Before I could say anything more, she left the room. Hmm. Humph. Well, really, I haven't had much of a chance to talk to any of the guys properly and try to establish a date. Okay, here we go. 402, here it is. Paused in front of his door, my heart in my throat. I suddenly felt horribly stupid about bringing this to him. It wasn't like he would even look at it. He said himself that he hated school. But... What if he was dying in there? John went to the drama club. He wouldn't be back for a few hours. Okay, I think that's a little over traumatic. Sucking up, I knocked on the door. Who is it? Um, it's Han. I brought some notes from... The door swung open before I could finish my sentence. PBG beamed down at me. Hana, hi. Hey. Hi. Come in, come in. Uh, thanks. Oh my god, it's actually neat. I half expected, like, clothes all over the floor. I stepped into a messy room. That's messy? Jeez. Have you never seen an episode of Hoarders? Posters lined the walls, and small Harvest Noon plushies were piled up on one of the beds, which I assumed to be PBGs. Harvest Noon? Like Harvest Moon? Really? Just take out one letter and switch it with another, and it's a completely different thing. A TV was on in the center of the room. Turby twinkled happily from the boss menu. You were playing games? Huh? Oh yeah. 
PBG closed the door behind me. Um. I didn't feel like going to class today, so I thought I'd stay in and do some work. Work? Well. Well, we do have a tournament coming up, so this kind of counts. Plus, I'd make a living reviewing video games. I brought you the stuff we went over in class. Oh, thank you. He took the papers out of my hands and set them on a desk next to a small stack of manga. I'm glad you're feeling well. Were you worried that I was sick? Sorry. <laughs> but that's adorable, so I'm kind of happy about what? it. What? Do you want to hang out? We have to work on our project at some point anyways, right? Well, I didn't really have anything else planned. Great. He plopped into a beanbag and slapped a pillow down next to him. Uh, why don't you have another beanbag chair? I love beanbag chairs. They're awesome, even if they're messy if they break. But I love beanbag chairs. Do you want to play? No, I'm not too good at games. I think I'll just watch. Hmm. Uh, okay, then. He unpaused the game. Turby sprinted across the screen, shooting fireballs from his mouth. PBG and I didn't talk much. Instead, I commented on the game and laughed at him when he died. Before I knew it, the sun was setting and I had to leave. You're welcome back anytime. Actually, we were having a Stomping Sisters tournament in two days. You can come if you want. Really? Really? Sure. See ya. Awesome. It'll be at noon in this room. I'll see you there. I left the dorm and stepped out into the fading sunlight. The air was warm, filled with the smell of freshly cut grass. I couldn't put my finger on it, but something about being around PBG was... comforting. Shaking my head, I went back to the dorms. Hey! Hey, Mai, how did the tryouts... <coughs> Hana, close the, your eyes, don't move! Before I could flip on the light switch, something warm collided with me and my eyes were covered. <coughs> What's going on? <gasps> Stop squirming, you'll ruin it! <coughs> ruin what? What did you do to my room? Just follow my lead, okay? My guide me through the room, trust telling me where to step. Down. She put her hand on my back and folded me in half, inching me into something that felt like it had a roof. Almost done. What exactly is going on? Yay! And ta-da! I gasped. You made a pillow fort! Really? My, what is this? What does it look like? It's a pillow fort. I've been looking forward to this for ages. A pillow fort? Really? Tryouts already happened. I made the team easy. I left early because I wanted to set this up for you. For me? Well, for us. You've been such a good friend to me, Han. I'm so glad we got to be roommates. I want to do something for you to make you feel more at home. I've seen how panicked you can be going around school. I don't know what happened in your life, but also Gout is your fresh start, right? You've got me, and you've got this school. And normal boots, too. If you're up for it, this can be your new life. You don't ever have to look back. And now, now is when we can play. Bye. Yeah. Yes, I knew it. I totally knew you were going to cry. Perfection. I guess it means I was successful. Ah, Ma, you've done it again. Bye. I slammed her into a hug. <laughs> oh, be careful. You don't want to break it. This took me forever. Um. My, I was bullied at my old school. That's why I came here. And it was only because my dad gave up everything to afford it. I thought you wouldn't like me, and I have a hard time trusting people, but if you wanted to, I think we could be best friends. Oh, no. oh god, now I'm gonna cry. Yay. Yes, let's be friends. You mean we weren't already? Mm. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Together, we're unstoppable. I'll say. Let's hook you and Jared up. Don't encourage the fan... fanaticism, I don't know. <gasps> what, what, wait, I can't even speak to him without self-destructing. It's fine, there's no way he couldn't fall for you. <laughs> oh yeah? And no one's caught your eye yet? Huh? <laughs> I'd say there's more than a few suitors on your horizon. Aren't you gonna give it a shot? Me? Dating? My eyes shifted across the fort my maid, the stuffed rabbit sitting on my bed, the window with the view of Asagao's manicured lawn. My life changed so much so quickly. You know, maybe I could. Yeah! 
Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Well, I prepared some activities for us to do. Look. She pulled out a tablet and opened an app. We're going to marathon you through Avatar. Uh, I don't know. Too late! She pressed play. Avatar as in, like, Avatar? The Last Airbender? Because I like that show. That's one of my favorite shows. I enjoyed watching that on cart on Nickelodeon. It wasn't Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon. Legend of Korra was okay. Wasn't as good as Avatar, but it was still good. As evening faded into night, we huddled in the blanket fort, watching episode after episode and messing with each other. Happier than I'd been for a long time, I rested on my head on my shoulder. Before I knew it, I'd fallen asleep. As usual, the next day, Maya and I got to school early, still poking fun at each other for a moment the night before. But as we approached Poppy Hall, I noticed something felt different. A palpable tension hung in the air. It was almost human. Man, what is up with everyone? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Is there a test today? Not that I know of. Unless the teacher put up another freaking uh, assignment or test because she got stood up again. But as we entered the building and turned the corner, it suddenly made sense. Jared and Paul were arguing amidst a large crowd, spit flying from their mouths, while Nick and Josh walked along the hallway past posters of Paul's face over Jared's modeling shots. I thought I told you to stop and take those posters down. No, what is wrong with you? As well as everybody's face, we don't have to listen to you. And you should know that this campaign is way more important than your little fashion show. No. But mine were here first. Hmm. Lay off them. This is between you and me, Jared. Leave them out of it. Uh... You've been taking up all the wall space with your show. The student elections are much more important. It's our government. <laughs> the student government doesn't even do anything. Whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. As current president, I can say with all knowledge and proper authority that the student government does a ton for this school. You don't even know, Jared. You don't even know. My? What is the student government actually? My? She wasn't with me anymore. She pried herself between Jared and Paul and was pushing them apart. I ran forward to help her. Uh, you guys should stop. Hana. Well, this is awkward. Oh good, the dubstep uh, uh, stopped. I flinched. Sorry, Hana, I didn't mean to yell. I... We... What? Your opinion on something? You're a regular student, a new student. You're uninvolved. Which do you think is more important, our student government or the fashion show? Uh, I don't know. This is an important choice to make. It probably will decide if I date one of them. Honestly... Uh, this particular run? If I even do multiple runs, I don't know. I'll have to see how it goes, but... Honestly... I don't think I want to go for either of these guys for this run. I'm probably going to go with either JonTron or PBG, so... Which, again, still it still feels very weird to me, like, trying to want to date any of these guys, because in real life, a lot of these guys, if they don't, if they aren't married, they are in a serious relationship, and it's like, I feel wrong doing that. But I'm not going to choose between you two. They both let out a heavy sigh. Aww. That doesn't help us. It was amazing they even cared what I thought. It's because you're the main protagonist. Hana's usually right about these things. You should listen to her. My pat me on the back and I jumped. I forgot she was there. Jared looked at Mai, raising an eyebrow. Are you sure, Mai? Don't you have your own opinion? Why'd he bother to ask? He knows she has a major crush on him and is hoping that she'll side with him. What do you think? Well, if I'm being honest, I care more about the fashion show. I go to the elections because I have to, but I go to the show because I want to. Plus, it raises a lot of money for the school. <laughs> Thank you. He gestured dramatically by, as if her opinion sealed the deal. <laughs> That's because we made it a fundraiser. Oh. Ah, the five-minute bell. Class was about to start. Jared nodded to us and walked away. Paul opened his mouth as if to say something more, but evidently thought better of it. He headed after Jared with Nick and Josh, thanking them for their help. Being a year ahead of us, their classes would be on the next floor. Mai began to follow them, but I gently pulled her arm. Our classroom was the other way. Oh, Jared. 
Jared, if you need any help with the show, I'm here. Notice me, senpai. Her yell echoed through the emptying hallway. Jared, without looking back, raised a hand in acknowledgement. <laughs> oh god, no, I hate squealing. Mai covered her mouth and emitted a skull-piercing squeal. Wincing, I dragged her into the classroom. Oh, wow, that was intense. After the drama this morning, I wasn't sure what to expect at lunch. But we'll be figuring that out in the next episode. But for now, this is Star Princess HLC saying thank you very much for watching, and have a fond farewell.